Okay, Kyle. I still don't like this wind here where you're like real bent in that right arm there. I'd like to see that even right off the bat in the wind. Think about a real, real long, long right elbow. Extend that right elbow. So that gets really deep. You can squeeze that trap and scap. You get a little more tension across your gut on the wind. Then this left opens up. That's pretty good pickup position here. You're shifting over that left really well. Still a little bit longer right leg here as you come to the center. And think if when you sweep that right harder to the center, see if you can pick that left up earlier. Just a little bit earlier and keep that left foot lower. Watch Daniel Stahl's left foot. Practice keeping that left foot lower like Stahl or Alekna. Left arm stays out a little bit longer here. That's not bad. But that lower left foot will ground faster here. And you have a lot of momentum coming this way out right as that left's grounding. When that left grounds, let everything sit into the left heel, and then that right side has to stay down. Keep that right foot down here all the way until it rotates, that hip rotates to the left sector. And that's where that long left arm comes into play. Okay, don't stop rotating. Keep rotating around the left. Same thing on this throw. I watched this one earlier. A little deeper wind, longer right arm. Cut that right to the center sooner. Come off with a little bit lower left, left foot, so it's a little faster. Hold the left arm out longer. See how long that left foot's floating. Keep that lower and down faster. And then that'll help you rotate past the left with the right foot stay, remaining grounded and keep that left arm out more. Okay, so the big things are sweep longer right leg down, come off that left with a low left leg, low left leg, hold that left arm out here, low left foot down faster, keep rotating past that left foot in the finish for big strong pull while that right hip stays grounded on the right foot. 